Hey guys, Kaz here and today I'm doing a tagulation. I'm doing the concert book Concert book tag. Yes, that's right. It sounded wrong. The concert book tag. I was tagged by R Jensen I will leave their video below and the original is by as read by Brooke So of course boom the original down below as well. This is a book tag that is about concerts as well Which is the perfect match for me. Am I even in focus? Who knows? I am now. So question one is tickets, the most recent book you bought or borrowed. And to be fair, I did a little bit of book buying today. So the most recent one, the last one I picked up in the shop is Mindhunter. I watched the series. I really enjoyed the series. This is a non-fiction about serial killers and coming up with the term serial killers. And I'm sure it's gonna be fascinating. Question two is The Crowd. A bookish community you love can even be in real life or in a book. To be fair, I'm normally a proper loner at gigs, concerts. I just go on my own. I'm not a crowd person, but a group of people that I do enjoy would be The Raven Boys, The Raven Cycle, all of them. They're just a great group. They're a great community. They're just great. Friendship. Yes. More of that, please. Books. So question three is sing along, a book that you quote every time you get the chance. Honestly, I'm terrible with quotes. Can't even say it, that's how bad I am. I am terrible with quotes. I don't remember any book quotes. I know like two. And it's not something that I'd quote. But as a bit of a troll, <laughs> I guess the book that I talk about the most and technically it's like a quote, but it's not really a quote would be Empire in Black and Gold by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Whenever I can moan about the fact that the author put even as in every sentence, I do. I talk about it a lot. I also only just thought of this answer because it's not really a quote, it's not something I quote, but it's something I mention a lot. I just thought of it after I started filming, so if the angle has just changed, it's because I had to climb through so much to pick this up. Just to, to say that it's not edited very well. It says even as so much. Something's happening even as something else is happening like four times in every paragraph Calm down Adrian. Luckily you did. I mean, I've just read book seven of this and he doesn't do it anymore So it's still worth a worth a read question four is sold out a book that you're really looking forward to But haven't read yet and honestly come back in like a week or however long it is when I do my October book haul because there's gonna be a lot in there There's a lot of books I bought in October it's my birthday month, that's my excuse. There's a lot and I'm looking forward to most of them. But Exile from Eden by Andrew Smith. Of course, you know how I feel about Andrew Smith. He's one of my favorite authors. This is his new book. I haven't read it yet. I feel like I need to reread Grasshopper Jungle first because it's a sequel. But also I've got too many books on my to read in 2019 to diverge and read something else. So I might have to wait until next year to read this. Sad times. P.S. Yes, I know I could just scrap my DBR, but I'm not that kind of guy. I will persevere. I'm a stubborn bastard. I'm going to read my 2019 TBR in 2019. Question five is The Band. A book or a book series that you love so much and you want everyone to read so you can fangirl about it. And I mean, this is quite an obvious one. All for the game, obviously, by Nora Sakovic. On the flip side, I know this series is not for everyone because of the content, because it's kind of dark. There's a lot of stuff that happened and people probably won't in people probably won't enjoy the characters if you don't like morally grey people if you don't like sports you might not enjoy it if you don't like contemporary you might not enjoy it but also i fucking love this series and everyone should read it who do enjoy those things because you will enjoy this so question six is encore a book that you wish had a sequel or a series that you wish there was just one more book in personally for me generally i have the feeling of if a book's on its own, it's on its own. If a series is on its series, that's where the author wanted it to stop. But there is one, and I feel like my opinion is justified here. You can't be out here announcing a sequel in 2016 and it's still not even have a cover and it's nearly 2020. You know what I mean? If you know, you know. Why announce a sequel if it's clearly not happening? Just keep it on the DL. Keep it on the DL and then just give it to us when it's ready. Don't make us wait four years and it's still not be out. You know? This is one of the, the few books that definitely could do with the sequel because the big part of the story happens in the last two pages. So there will be other summers. Hopefully there won't be. Hopefully it'll come out before next summer. Probably not though. Don't even have a cover yet. Question seven is opening act, a book that you didn't expect to love as much as you did. And for this one, 
I'm going with The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I knew it was Greek and gay and I thought that sounds cool, but I'm not massively into historical fiction so I thought I'll probably enjoy it. It's probably all right. I'll give it a go and then you know however many pages later, however many tears later, five stars later, this is such a good book and I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did because it's so good. I really should reread it. But who can reread when you have big TBRs? Not me. Even though technically one of the books on my 2019 to read list is a reread. But that's beside the point. Great book. So question eight is merch table. One piece of bookish merch that you either own or want to own. And yes, I did change my top before I started this video just so I could show you this. It's all for the game. It's, it's the foxes. I am a fan. So question nine is concert friend, a book that you bonded with somebody over and without wanting to repeat myself, but I definitely am gonna repeat myself for the third time. All for the game, a fox up court, all this business. I feel like when people read this and are fans, they're like fans. So they're like talking about it with other people that have read it and they love it. I met R, the person who tagged me in this through this series. I've talked to numerous people on Instagram when I see that they've posted about this series because I love it. And when I see somebody else love it, I was like, no way. We both love this series. So yeah, I won't pick it up again for this. There's one question left. So question 10 is tour announcement, a book that you cannot wait to be released. And like the quotes, I am terrible at knowing when things are gonna be released. You know how people are out here doing like, oh, 10 books that I'm really looking forward to in the next three months. And I'm like, what, when do books come out? How do they exist? I realized a book that I really wanted to read came out two months ago because I randomly looked on Amazon. I'm like, oh yeah, that came out. I knew it was gonna happen at some point this year. So that's that's who I am as a person. But I do know that Call Down the Hawk is coming out next month. So that counts as an answer. So there we go, that was the concert book tag. Spoilers, in a couple of days, I'm gonna do a random video about concerts if you care. So watch that if you want to. That's why I did this video now so it coincides with that. But anyway, I'm not gonna tag anyone because I don't know who has done this and who likes going to gigs. But if you do, if you're a fan of gigs, in fact, you know what, I'm gonna tag Dane because I know Dane performs live, so I'm sure he enjoys gigs watching as well. So Dane Reads, yes, you are tagged if you haven't done this already. And then whoever else likes going to concerts or enjoys the questions of this tag do it. And on that, let me know down below if you enjoy going to concerts, who was the last person you saw live? I've been to a few this month, it's been amazing. I will talk more about it in my favourites video, but let me know who you like to see live. If this is your first video by me and you enjoy it, please check out some of my others, and if you continue to enjoy them, please subscribe, that'd be awesome. Anyway guys, I will see you in a few days with another video. Bye. What's that?